we ought to do the thing for a bit for a second okay hello everybody and welcome to the first stream of squid plays ratchet and clank the ps4 version so this stream today is going to be quite short let's go hard because i'm a veteran of the well that's the time i've heard at least a veteran of the Ratchet and Clank series, at least the original trilogy, Deadlocked, and Open up on seven. and uh, Crack in Time. Move it out, ship. Oh, okay. Hero, huh? Identifying prisoner one one seven. Ship. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits of the universe. Places that would make your bolts rattle. The eternity pits of Lord Doom. The iron holds in no balance. Nah. Hmm. So this cutscene here should be broadcast as usual. However, so I think some of the other some of the other cutscenes later on in the um, in the game will probably be blocked by the streaming mechanism. Uh, that, that's just because uh, some of the pre-rendered cutscenes are actually lifted from the movie. Based on that incident with you and that lawn bags. Oh, you must mean the hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag shipped to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on a hollow film based on my life, but they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless lombax named Ratchet. Where do you think you're going? Hey, Grim, you're here. I... I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh-huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that boat, crank. Okay. Does that ship look bag lifted to you? Get on that boat. Come on, give it a spin. Here we go. Okay, let's see if these new Versa bulbs work. Look up. Do you see something flashing? Yep. Yes. Left side looks good. It's a miracle. On to the afterburner lights. Look the afterburner light checks out. This thing might just be worthy after all. One more to the right. No the right afterburner works. So, are we good? Yep, we're good. The news says the tryouts are being held at the fairgrounds. Show them what you got, kid. Okay, and now we're off. But not before we go and whack all the boxes. Let's see. There we go. Oh. So if you press square and then yeah, like that, you you 
get launched forward a bit and it's slightly faster than just walking like this Okay. Okay, so I have to hold this button and press square. So let's see if I can. Okay, so that's that. Simplified. Okay, I'll all time is fine. Okay. I also drop the music volume a bit. There we go. This is a little bit better. Normally it's R1 that you hold in order to just I used that stuff after a bank robbery once. It healed like three out of five gunshot wounds. Lombax displayed a flagrant disregard for public property. Look at him smashing the face. <laughs> the humorous. Maybe he was just saving up bolts so he could buy a new weapon to protect the galaxy. Yeah, that's totally it. Absolutely. Right, nothing over there. Okay, so now we have a little mini arena thingy. Hello, recruit. Cora Verilux here. Show us how quick you can be on your feet by jumping over these obstacles. Here we go. Good work. Now keep moving to the next part of the course. If you see me at the event, please do not run up and insist on. Good job. You could be the recruit we've been looking for. Keep moving to the next part of the course. Hello. Oh yeah, I have to touch the button. Oopsie. Awesome weapon. So now we have this weapon, which you use to blow up that. Ah, oh, this actually only appears once. But if you you can actually glitch out of bounds all the way way back when you. Right after Okay. So there's holding it. Spike things up. We've armed these dummies with gadgetron flamethrowers. Our lawyers are totally cool. Good job, Lovely. Or maybe an intern. Lovely. Well, if you could spawn those enemies. One down. 
Oops. Okay, so it actually. Nice. So another difference that you see just there is that you actually level up based on. Uh, there you go. Basically, training. Wasn't so bad. Ah, yeah, here we go. This is one of those uh, blocked scenes. And he's still on fire. Not yet. Not yet. So he says, you have what it takes, and then he says, you don't have what it takes. That was one time. So this is where it introduces yeah, Drek, who's in his little scoot scooter thingy, and Nefarious, who's being Nefarious. There we go, okay. The helpless defect knew that his best chance for survival lay with the facility's ventilation system. If he could just run to the vent, he might just make it out of there alive. I've always thought it was funny that they... You never <coughs> that they have a... Um, Shared money system. Whatever lay in his path. The young defect spotted a spring bot ahead of him and knew that with this handy device in his arsenal, he could now defeat the deadliest of forces. Gravity. The deadliest of forces. Oh wait, I got these boxes over here. Yoink. <coughs> okay. Okay. There you are. Oh my. What's your run, you useless piece of scrap? Okay. Get back here and let's settle this. Warbot, the Warbot. Hey, actually, double jumps. Oh no, 
<laughs> okay. Escapes yet again. This device could power up a variety of machines, but where should he throw it? You're like really good at adding drama, man. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my pension for storytelling. Okay. What seems to be the problem, Victor? You won't get away from me, Chairman. I've got him right where I want him. Yeah, okay, I need to... Ah, I know what I've got to do. Over here, over here, over here, over here. Launch him into that. Aha, this button activates the bridge. Okay. And then I move the jumpy thingy. Grab the bomb, and we're on our way. That's a gold bolt. Uh, that's something that you get upon returning. Warbot man comes back in here. Yes, that roots brute again. There we go. Get back here, you miserable defect. Okay. Try out running this. I'm gonna rip you apart. Sprocket by sprocket. No, you won't. Water. <coughs> well, given oh, another one of these. So Clank enters the ship, blasts away, and Victor can't get him. Oh, well, he does, but he doesn't, like, kill him. Just damages the ship. There we go, okay. A single cut scene, a single loading screen, and then another lot of what I presume is pitch black and silence. But at least it's broadcasting my voice, so there's that, I guess. Although I should probably think about just skipping these cutscenes. Like these cutscenes which you can't see. There you go, yeah. Race through Ratchet's head. Could he repair this diminutive war box? Would it be the key to the adventure he craved? Did he leave the proto engine on in the garage? The answer to all these questions. Was yes. All right, hang on. I'll get us back to the garage. 
So do these guys damage me? Oh. They just there. Okay. Large gaps where child's play to ratchet. All he would need to get across is a trusty swing shot and a little bravado. And now I get a gun. Fortunately for our furry hero, a conveniently placed crate. Provided ratchet with a combustor. I gotta find some combustor ammo. Buster. Somewhere over here. Yeah. Aim. Fire. Impressive shooting. Nice work. Okay. Some extra ammo. Ratchet had to think fast. Perhaps the hook shot would solve his current conundrum. Okay. Grim, listen to me. I want you to walk the door and then head down into the shelter. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, looks like we're about to get a little bit. Whoa, that was close. Okay, so I can't just shoot over the... Over this, okay. Right, so you're starting to get Okay, can I shoot them from over here? No, okay. 
Just hold tight, Grim. I got this. Okay. More bots. I'm down in the shelter. Ratchet. This place is a mess. Disassembled weapons and engine parts everywhere. Didn't you tell me you were gonna clean it up last week? Yeah, sorry about that. Got held up on a project. A beginner's guide to quantum burst engines. Just throw that anywhere. I haven't There we go. Whoops. Okay. I don't have one plan though. That's basically to... Yeah, it'll help now that I have full ammo plus. Yeah, plus. Full ammo plus, full health. is just a garage. Lived here since I was a kid. Come on, let's get you fixed up. Here we go. But I fixed worse. Come on, maybe there's someone in town who can help us. Wait a second, is that rare titanium? Maybe we should upgrade our weapons first. Let's use that vendor and put Okay. Oh, okay, it's... Okay. 
Okay. Okay. I was wondering why I was being a little bit wonky there. So I can get the proton drum. The parasita will be. Okay. Now combustor, fusion grenade, or parasita. Which one? This one, maybe. Rate of fire, ammo. Oh, I get max of six. Okay. Could also get bonus bolts. Oh, wicked. Now you're almost too powerful. Okay. Ammo. Okay. There we go, okay. Right, so first let's go into here. Look out. So one thing that I'll have to look into is the requirements Uh, is the requirements for a 100% speedrun on this game because one of my plans for this game is to get 100% completion oh yeah and here's the card this is just the card I guess Did I miss any? No, okay. Take that. With some bonus for our titanium. Sweet. There you go. Okay. Okay, so they both fell into the water. Now another thing to do with this part is that either they've made, either they've just made these platforms wider or close together. Or they've actually given Ratchet a bigger jump. Because it, this is something that I've probably mentioned while playing the first, like the actual original is that in the original game that this is the remake of, you can just barely jump across that gap Oh, okay He's 
Dong Dong has jammed the transmission. Who's gonna save us now? Okay, this is not a blocked cutscene. We were on our way to speak with him when our ship was shot down. Perhaps we could take a look. Oh, sure thing. I swiped it from one of those black soldiers. Here you go. Oh, hello there. I'm Alonzo Drek, chairman of Drek Industries. Many of you may be wondering, why are 300 heavily armed warbots marching ominously towards a Class G Drek ship? <laughs> the answer is simple, friends. Progress. Years ago, we were driven underground by pollution that may or may not, but most definitely was, caused by my father's company. Since then, we've shifted focus from robotics to planet building. Now that our project is nearing completion, we must do everything possible to stay on schedule. In this case, it means our friendly army of warbots must vanquish those who would seek to stop us. Good news? They don't know we're coming! So sit back, relax, and take comfort in the knowledge that Drek Industries is working for you! Drek Industries is not working for you. I see you're having a little transportation trouble. Why don't I meet you by your ship? We'll get you squared away and ready to fly! Geronimo! Did that guy just slide down a sewer pipe? Well, it does look like the fastest way down. Let's give it a shot. Well, first let's head over here to see it. Okay, no, nothing. Just a single bolt. Yep, just, just, just one bolt right there. Just a single bolt. Just the one. Okay. Well, about that, I'm going to go this way. Holding his breath, the more intrepid Lombax delves the depths of the uh, deepness. Okay. Grab some money. This is also the first game since the first game, funnily enough, that has the oxygen meter. So that's just a floppy mushroom. That's also a floppy mushroom. Nothing special in there. Okay. Change this a bit.
Now these guys are tough. Boy, would I not want to do this game wrench, wrench only? You are very good at breaking things. I am. Okay. Good money in there. Or at least it would have been if it was just 40. Okay. Okay. I reckon this gun would could do with some some made of fire upgrades. Whoa, that is a lot of bad guys. Attention, citizens! You may have no. noticed. We are in the midst of a small incident. We are Oops. these bird bots over here nice okay ow oh didn't quite break the other box but up there Get some money. What about over here? Nope, just uh, thanks for the warning. Totally didn't see it there. to get more health. Nope. 
Okay. Okay. Ow. Oop, time to run. Bye. Yeah, it seems like the controls for this game is quite a bit Okay, let's try that at least. Okay, let's also check out the cards I have. Okay. Proton drum. Ah. Okay. So I have Yeah, I I, I either have uh five I either have one doom Yeah, I reckon that's total duplicates shown there. I don't think that's um I don't, I don't think that's like per. Do you mind? God damn it. Okay. That was intended. Totally intended. interesting about how they've started having enemies with attacks that stun you for a bit. Right, then we got some logs. Okay.
Anybody else? There you go. Okay. Yes, it's safe to come out. Thank you. Thank you. I thought we were done for sure. We are happy to be of assistance. Why is Dread trying to kill you? It's my nephew. Because he wants the water? Skid McMarks, the pro hoverboarder. He sent me this info bot from Aridia, and the blog have been after me ever since. Here, take a look. Hey, Uncle Bob Wash, Skid McMarks here. You know, your nephew. My agent and I are at the awesome grand opening of the McMarks Sports Shack here on Iridia. And boy, is this been a trip. I've gotten to meet all kinds of people. Fans, celebrities, my Gadgetron sponsors. <laughs> I even got to sign autographs for these odd-looking creatures called the Flar. <laughs> I guess they're doing something here on Iridia. Wait, uh, hold on a second. Hydro Harvester. Super illegal water displacement apparatus. Um, I don't think I was supposed to have this. Stop him! He's got the schematics! Help! Someone! Call my agent! Call my publicist! Actually, don't call either of those people. Call someone <laughs> who cares about me! I don't want to die! Sounds like Skid McMarks is in trouble. We gotta get to Iridia. <laughs> Agreed, but we must first repair our ship. Okay. Thanks for saving the sector, friend. Now come on back and we'll see about fixing that ship. There you go. Your mayor is safe and sound. I was rescued by a furry hero and his robot friend. I will now resume regular office hours, which is every third Tuesday. And so. Ratchet and Clank set out to fix their ship with the help of the plumber. Little did they know they would soon come so close to greatness, they'd be able to hear its mighty biceps ripple. But first, they'd have to tackle a brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Hey, wait a minute. I don't recall no brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Okay, fine. Killjoy. Well, you look about all fixed up here. Now promise me you'll get that infobot to Captain Quark. I promise. Thanks for your help. No problem. See you in the next reboot. <laughs> okay. So we can actually... The Rescuer. Check out my inventory. No, I'll wait until the next level. Let's see. Ooh, shake down enemies for extra rotanium. Range. Wait, you do X and then. There you go, okay. Ratchet and Clank were delighted to discover Oh, you'll also have Kawan. Now had an upgraded hyperspace navigation computer. Actually, I think there might have been one more possible location. But get rid of some of them and buy a proton drum from me. Yeah, if I go all the way over there. I might be able to find a little nook or cranny that uh, doesn't have anything useful to, them, useful to me. Okay, I was going to go here as I went through. I'll nip into here, which has raritanium. Almost looks like more rotanium, but I think that's just. Yeah, okay, it's just a little weird bit of the rock or something. Oh, 
Wait, is there really nothing over here? Huh. Okay, I thought there was something around here. Oh. In the original game, if you go behind this building here, there's actually... There's an area over there that just has a few bolts and crates there. I thought there might have been like something like Rotanium or a card set there in this game, but I must have been rem remembering dif differently. Okay. Okay, what's our destination? Skid's agent is still lost somewhere on Iridia. Yeah, I reckon Iridia first. Since I don't have that much time left and Kerwan forces you into a ship battle section to complete it. It is, but let's see what's in this. Oh, still a proton drum. Well, don't mind if I do. Go to the pyrocytor for now. So I do have that one piece of rotanium, so upgrade pyrocida. Okay. I'm just 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 to uh, spread out the flame a little bit more. Oh man, am I happy you two dudes showed? I've been out here all night. I can't believe it, Skid McMarks. I have seen every one of your races. You pulled off a triple Nova spin at Mach 2 at last year's Kerwin Cup. So Mach 2. To meet a fan, little dude. I am That's... This is Ratchet. Your uncle received your info bot and asked... Quick. That's... Oh, I was wondering if you got... 600 meters per second. ...from those blog all night. Only we ended up getting separated in the chaos, and I took a gnarly fall getting out of the Skid McMark sports chat. Hey, think you dudes can clear out the sand shark so I can get to my ship? Give me my hoverboard if you do. Whoa. A real McMark's 4000? Consider it done. Well, maybe they... Yeah, there we go. Wonder if it might possibly be better to just hold it rather than spam. So let's try this. Now I reckon just. Though I think they should be. Yeah, these guys. Okay. Anybody else? No? Okay. That's just a light. You can actually see outside the level a bit there, which is cool, I guess. Hey, that's. Hmm. 
Nice, a tactical. <laughs> Just in time. I'm missing one. No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to lob this. There you go. Needed? Nope. Okay. Right. Off we go. So that should also be enough Rotame to max out, not to max out, but to get the ring around the thing. So actually, this might be a little. Yeah, so two bombs is enough. There we go. and Clank, the chillest dudes I've ever hung out with on a hostile alien planet. Cool. Cool. Are you able to get home on your own? I'll be okay, though I don't think I'll be able to compete in the Blackwater City Hoverboard competition. Kind of a bummer, dude. Hey, have either of you little dudes seen my agent? I feel kind of bad leaving him out here. He doesn't do yeah, if you, if you go over there, he's right over there. Skid, he's right over there. I can work him. Ah, lovely. Okay. We should search the area for Skid's agent. He may need our assistance. Alright, so I'll fill that and then. Yeah, so I have three. Hydro display the technology is repurposed for a massive amount of power city fuel and a tiny tank increasing ammo. Sweet! So now do I want. That's bonus for titanium or extra width? What's this? Range. Yeah, I'll go for a little extra width. Sweet. Okay. I've got like a little area over here. A lot of mud. Which actually ripples slightly. Okay. But yeah, let's see if I have any new. Okay, avail them. So holo cards drop more often. Cool. Still have one duplicate.
Okay. Extras, cheats. Huh. Interesting how it's 5 for gang speed, 27 for infinite ammo, and 28 for invincibility. One possible thing that they could have done is have a system similar to Ratchet and Clank 2 where you have um, where you like buy the cheats with your gold bolts. Now they'd have to they, you'd have to have more for this to work. You have to have more cheats, and uh, they have to be worth less individually. But like you could have things like big head mode costing one, you could, or you could have things like, let's say, for example, for example, invincibility there could cost five or ten. spin the stick and then mash X he jumps around and he never makes the never makes a sound huh, that's like an empty metal okay but yeah, I'm gonna Oh, there's no manual save. Okay, that, as expected, gets me to the map. It's also cool that they have... Uh, oh. Yeah, they have a system where there's, like, different segments of the world. So entering one of those segments lights up the whole thing. So if I, if I were to walk over here... Yeah, now the accounts that segment has explored. So one effect is that it probably... Oh, they make it over here. They tunnel, they're tunneling through the metal. Okay. But anyway, I'll call it here. You can't just can't just save on the spot. Which is a little weird. Okay, so if I just leave here, does it save? Okay, I'll, I'll figure out something off camera just to make sure I make sure nothing goes unsaved. So thanks for those who might be in. Um, the thing that happened today isn't going to be happening super often, it's just, as far as I know, just today. Like, 
it could happen another time, but hopefully that, that when that happens, it's at a later time, so it doesn't interfere with this. But I'm going to drop a host on Raging Terror. And that's going to be it. So I'll see you tomorrow.